Hi there, my name's Jonathan and uh, I do quite a few videos on Camera Lucida and I'd like to sort of go through some of the changes in Camera Lucida very quickly and there seems to be a little bit of confusion about the, the old iPads and the new the newer iPads. So I've got two iPads here just to do a side-by-side -side comparison of Camera Lucida with the different versions. So this one on the right hand side here, this iPad is very old, it's a 2000 and 12-ish iPad, so we're sort of 10, 10 years plus old. It's a fourth generation iPad and it's running um, the iPad Apple software version 10.3.3. That's as far forward in the operating system as, as I can go with this iPad. This is a newer iPad, it's not the latest one. These were built, this is a sixth generation iPad and these were built between 2018 and 2020. Uh, this, is, this one's about 2019. I believe it's about five years old. This one is running version 17.3.1, which is just about the latest release of the iPad software. The main difference between these two is that this one will not run the latest version of Camera Lucida, whereas this one will definitely. So I have them both loaded up here, Camera Lucida, on both iPads. This one is running version 16 of Camera Lucida, that's uh, version 16. This one is running version 14. I can't run any newer version of version 14. 14, uh, because it just Apple won't allow it to be upgraded. So what's the difference between the two? Well, some of the new features in version 16 of Camera Lucida are a full undo and redo facility in various places, which I'm not going to go into all the differences now. That will be a different video just to, just to go over some of the differences. Uh, you can set up custom filters. So if you're used to using filters with camera lucida you can now do all sorts of things with setting up your own filters and combination of filters and then saving those combinations as a combination of filters and that, that's really really cool because it's something that you couldn't do with the older version of camera lucida the the new version supports usb c cameras which is a facility that you have basically if you're going to be using external cameras with the uh, camera lucida software with version 14 you could use uh, uh, an iphone and the ipad and you could draw on much larger drawing surfaces now with version 16 of camera lucida uh, you can use webcam type devices as well as other cameras um, that use usb-c devices uh, and connections which is really cool and you also have levelized colors facility on the version 16 of Camera Lucida, which you didn't have so much flexibility with version 14. Personally, I, I use uh, this iPad, the old iPad, probably more than I do the new one, purely because I'm just used to it. And the only time I go to use the newer iPad is when I want to use some of those newer facilities like the custom filters. Now the custom filters, for me personally, a major step forward with being able to set up a combination of filters to create an effect and then to be able to save that combination of filters so that I can then use those filters as a stored combination of filters. Now that's something you couldn't do with the older version. So when you set up the filters, when you were in draw mode and you went into filters, so pretty much the same filters, but you don't get this top option to save and look at the history of the filters. So for example, with version 14, if you were to use um, some sort of color palette filter, plus a posterize, plus a levelize to get a various effect on uh, an image that you're drawing, you couldn't store that as a custom filter. You would then have to remember which settings you selected and which levels and settings within those settings you selected so that you could go back to that filter if you ever wanted to continue the drawing or use those filters on something else. With Camera Lucida 16 you can now set up a combination of filters and you can store those and then you can use those as filters on uh, uh, other drawings and projects. So that's, that's, a, that's a major step forward. As I say this isn't a thorough run through of all the different features between between version 14 and version 16 of Camera Lucida. This is just preamble to another video which I'm doing, which is setting up the parallax issues that you get with any Lucida type device due to the different angles between your drawing surface, which is generally flat, and your image surface, which is generally um, from the iPad and at an angle on a stand. Uh, you need to get that parallax sorted out before you start painting. And uh, my next video, 
I'm going to be talking about how you do that using the automatic method and, and the manual. Anyway, so that, that's a sort of uh, brief comparison. I know that a lot of people have uh, been slightly confused, I guess, with which version of Camera Lucida will run on which version of iPad. Now, version 16 is running and upgradable on this iPad, which as I say is about six, uh, about six years old now. It's a sixth generation iPad. They are extremely cheap now. You can probably get them for, you know, in the UK, about a hundred dollars, hundred pounds. Uh, the fourth generation, which is very old now, 10 plus years old, um, only runs up to version 14 of Camera Lucida. Now, um, it, it's not always easy with the Apple App Store to be able to install an old version of software. And that's one of the issues that you get when you, if you have an old fourth generation iPad and you want to install Camera Lucida onto that iPad, you don't already have Camera Lucida on that iPad. Sometimes it's nigh on impossible to get Camera Lucida, even the old version of Camera Lucida, installed on that iPad. My suggestion is to basically go for at least the sixth gen of iPad and these were produced between 2018-2020 so maybe a year old iPad if you want to go for a cheaper iPad and that works perfectly with the latest version of Camera Lucida and the latest version of the uh, iPad uh, Apple operating system. That's my suggestion. I have this old one and I've been using Camera Lucida for donkey's years and basically that is just because that is what's already on the what's already on the iPad. I can't upgrade this to version 16. It will stay at version 14, presumably for the rest of time. Uh, but there's no way I can upgrade that. Um, but it works fine on this old iPad. And I did have it installed before um, the latest version 16. So um, that's fine. And I can maintain that on the old iPad if you have already got it installed. So my advice is to go for the, the newer iPad. But if you're price conscious and think seriously about getting, you know, maybe a four or five year old iPad, which are pretty cheap now and um, use that because it will run both the latest operating system and it will also run the latest Camera Lucida software. Anyway, I hope that hasn't confused you too much. So my name's Jonathan. I do quite a few tutorials when I can on using Camera Lucida uh, because it's a great app. It improves your drawing. It helps you draw. It's got loads of facilities. I consider it's the best Lucida type software out there that you can buy for any device, PC, Mac, iPad, iPhone, whatever device it happens to be. And, and it just works. It's reliable. It doesn't crash. And um, uh, Peter, who, who's um, done, who's created the software, done an excellent job on creating a tool that can be used by anybody from complete amateurs to seasoned professional um, artists and uh, is a great app. Anyway, follow my channel if you can. Uh, I do loads of these tutorials. Look up the other tutorials on using Camera Lucida and give me a like if, if you like the videos and subscribe for more content relating around Camera Lucida plus loads of other subjects that I'm interested in. Anyway, thanks for watching if you've got this far and I will catch you on the next one.